in a surprise move today, Varia, one of the most premium headset makers in the PC VR industry, has dropped the price of their only consumer-friendly headset from $2,000 down to below $1,000. They've dropped it over half the price. This is a permanent price reduction to $990. We recently got to check out this headset. It is a premium headset. It pairs best with a premium PC, and now it's going to be at a much lower price point for anyone who's had a Valve Index for a while and is looking for the next step up. For anyone who's into racing sims, flight sims, anyone who wants really clear text and good visibility, it is a headset that needs base stations and controllers, but most likely people who are looking at this are ones who already have that full PC Steam VR setup and are looking for their next headset. This comes after they'd had a fall campaign that dropped it down in price to $1,500, and now this price point is the lowest it's ever been. If you're interested in getting one, I will leave a link down below in case you want to get it through our channel, but also I'll leave a link to the video where we checked it out so you can see a little bit more about it. But keep in mind when we were making that video, this still was a $2,000 headset, so it's an even better deal now. We are barely a week away from Meta Connect where we're going to get all the rest of the Quest 3 details we've been looking for, but there's been a ton that has come out, some through Meta announcements and a lot through leaks. There's so much Quest 3 news going on that we've dropped a full breakdown video that we'll leave a link up here and down in the description with all the information we know about the Quest 3 from the potential price date to the different model sizes, accessories, every bit of information out there is broken down in that video. So make sure if you missed that one after this, check it out to find out everything you can up until next week when we get the final details. As we're approaching that Quest 3, the Quest 2 has gotten its biggest feature that has been most requested. Legs are finally a thing. You might remember at Connect a year ago, Mark Zuckerberg's avatar walked out in Meta Horizon Worlds with legs on his avatar. And he said, legs are coming. Said it was one of the most requested features for Horizon Worlds. And not only were legs coming, legs are out now in Horizon Worlds. If you've been in it, you might have noticed even in just your main quest home, you might have seen a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and seen, I have legs now. Now, although you see them in mirrors and on other people, you may look down and see the legs still aren't there for you. Obviously, this has become a bit of a meme and a running joke now. Legs are not most people's top feature, at least they're not mine. But if you were out there really waiting for them, legs are sort of here now for you. Meta Connect is coming up on September 27th and 28th, although the 27th is when the keynote happens, 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's usually when we hear about Meta's plan for the next year. They'll probably talk AI, maybe bring up the metaverse again. But most importantly, the last of the Quest 3 details should come out. And I would guess they'll open up pre-orders because that's what they did for the Pro, for the Quest 2 at the Connects previously. The most amazing news, Meta invited our channel personally to be there. It means it's going to look a little different this year because I usually live stream it with you. But in case you didn't know already, I'm personally going to be there. So whether you watch here on the channel, whether we get some help streaming it, Editor John might be volunteering for that, hopefully. Watch out. Who knows? Maybe if they actually show the crowd since there's an in-person event, maybe you'll see me out there this year. It's because of all your support out there that we've been noticed by Meta that they're asking us to come to this show to see the future of VR. So once again, thank you, all of you. Of course, as that Quest 3 launch is approaching, hopefully early in October, we're starting to see some Quest 3 giveaways. We're hosting one here on the channel. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description, in the comments, in case you haven't been entered yet. There's also one going on through Swordsman VR, the game that we've known covered for years here on the channel. They're giving away a Quest 3, so if you want to get some extra odds of winning one, I'll leave a link to check that one out too. Head over, get entered in those. Good luck. And with the new Quest 3 launch, I think we're going to continue probably giving away Quest 3s. Maybe an occasional Quest 2 still. I'm not sure. We've given away so many of those now. I think most everybody's going to want that 3 the minute it comes out. So I think I'd love to stick to just giving those out from here on out. Speaking of giving things away, Meta was recently giving away Quest Pros. Attendees of the Roblox Developer Conference, RDC 2023, could receive a free Meta Quest Pro over the weekend they were there. There was some announcements circulating on Reddit and Twitter saying the news is out and they wanted to thank our special partner Meta and they're offered to provide all RDC 23 attendees with Meta Quest Pro headsets to help you create the best Roblox experiences for VR. Obviously the Roblox market is massive and they're trying to capitalize on that now that Roblox has come into VR getting more of those Roblox people over getting the Roblox developers to develop stuff specifically for VR inside of the app. Still though it's pretty wild knowing that there was a conference and pretty much anyone who wanted one could get a Quest Pro for free from it. That's a lot of Quest Pros. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think this means. Is that really exciting that they're doing that for those people? Do you just see this as a way for them to get in, get more people in Roblox, in VR in general? Or did they just have too many Quest Pros, didn't sell enough, and so they had to do something with them? What do you think?
think. On Chinese social media, some pictures floated around of some new VR controllers. Upon inspection, these look like these are Pico controllers, potentially for their next generation of headsets, and they look extremely familiar if you've been watching the Quest 3 controllers. These controllers have exactly the same button placement as most VR controllers at this point, but they don't have any sort of rings on them. The Pico 4 had a very unusual ring design that went around your hand, but surprisingly didn't get in the way much, and these look to be maybe the next Pico set following the same pattern Quest has of eliminating the tracking rings altogether. People analyzing this were comparing the colors of the buttons on the current Pico 4 controllers, finding that these were the same colors and looked to be the same buttons and design just without those trackers. This would be interesting to see if the entire industry starts to go this way and gets rid of the tracking rings, but unfortunately it's one of those things where the PSVR 2 came out recently with tracking rings and it might be another thing that makes it look dated pretty fast if everyone else moves away from them. Demio has long been a VR game I've praised on this channel because I absolutely love it and it's been confirmed it's being developed for the Apple Vision Pro. This is a pretty big deal because Apple Vision Pro has been pretty particular about not saying anything to do with VR or virtual reality, but Resolution Games confirmed Teamio is going to support a fully virtual mode as well as their mixed reality gameplay. This is a game that would be perfect on the Apple Vision Pro because they just launched all hand tracking to play the game. You don't even need controllers necessarily for it anymore, and with the mixed reality edition coming for the Quest 3 and already out on the Quest Pro, it'll be an easy fit just to get it over on Apple Vision. Apple Vision Pro doesn't come till next year, but I'm excited to see how many more VR games are going to be able to make the leap if they don't have any controllers for the Apple Vision Pro. It also makes you wonder, as we talked about in the last news article, a lot of VR headsets are ditching the tracking rings. Will VR headsets start to ditch the controllers altogether and follow what the Apple Vision Pro is doing? Another big week in the VR space, but not nearly as big as next week is going to be when Connect finally happens and we get the rest of the details. Watch out here on the channel. We'll have plenty more news coming to you then, but thank you once again for being here with me, and I will see you in another reality.